Well guys, I need to pay a little bit more attention where I'm ordering stuff from when I get on eBay. This came in unexpectedly. I ordered it a month ago. Just cut it out of the package a minute ago. It is a Rav Byrish thumb turn. I ordered the thumb turn to kind of do some uh, testing for exploits on. Uh, this is what arrived in the package. I got a whole bunch of keys. Works perfectly. It is brand new. Uh, but unexpectedly, it's got a weird kind of uh, actuator. I've seen these a few times before, but uh, not what I'd call normal. And then, this is the exciting part. It's seven pins. I thought I'd be getting like a five or a six pinner, but we're going to get a seven pin dimple lock. Everything on this is in Hebrew, even the package itself. But uh, let's see if we can't get in this thing. I'm going to clean all this stuff out of here. Let's get it clamped up and see if we can't pick it. All right, I think that'll hold it. Um, looking at the keyway on this thing, nice wide open keyway, at least on the right side here. I grab my thickest tension wrench and I believe I'm going to tension him from the bottom. I started going from the top, but my microphone is like right there. So I was going to be bumping into that. That would not be good for you, especially you guys wearing earphones. So I'm going to stick him right there and I'm really going to mash him in there. So I've got good control of that core in both directions. Um, Go ahead and turn this guy back. And then, that way my thumb will be down here out of the frame when I zoom in a little bit. And that way you can see if we get any feedback. Now my only problem is going to be keeping my thumb out of the, of the uh, frame so you can see what's going on. All right. I'm going to apply. By the way, I think we can get this apart. I took a look back here behind this actuator. There's a, it looks like a clip. I think I can either cut that clip or shove it out of there with a screwdriver. Maybe we can gut this thing if we get it open. I've already done my experiments with the uh, bypass, by the way. All right. I'm going to apply counterclockwise with my thumb. And, oops, it's already moving around a little bit on us. That'll do it. And then take a curved flag. This is from the Sauber kit. And by the way, you guys want to see the key. A lot of ups and downs in this thing, all seven of them. So perfect bidding for a challenge lock, although it's, it is not a challenge. That's the way it came from the factory. I'm going to slide it down the left side, and I'm looking for a speed bump, just like that. Oh, maybe not like that. Maybe like that. That feels like around pin four. Wow. I think I just overset pin four. I got nothing. I'm going to recock and try that again. Come on, tension wrench. All right, let's sign that speed bump. Three seems to stop it, but then I just touch him and he goes right past him. And four really does get stuck. All right, I got to click that time, but I kept in the front. Nobody's. So it's pin five now, the one, the very next one, which is kind of unusual. Curve flags, sometimes if you've got a stuck pin like this, you have trouble getting them started, getting them above them. So I may have to pull out, in fact, I think I will pull out the flat flag to get, get the pin started, maybe. Mm, it's hard enough with this one, too. Come on. He is really bound in there. All right, that was it. All right, let me pull this guy out. Oop. That's pin one. Okay, I just touched him from the back side, and I got a little click. I'm going to go back to the curved flag now and go back in the behind six, uh, or behind five. Seems like six is now binding up. A little click on him. And number seven. Again, I can't get this curved flag above him. So I'm going to go back to the flat flag just to get him started. Come on. I don't have that much tension on this core. Get in there. Wow. Okay, well, we went right by him, but I don't think... I don't think he's set.
Now he is. Let's try that guy with the curved flag. Ah, there we go. All right, that was seven. So six, or the flat flag, what happened? I can't get him out. Oh, yeah, we go. What happened was the flat flag, I pushed him down to the top of the peaks, but I didn't get a set. And because I didn't get a click, I knew I'd either blown it on one of the other pins or number seven needed to be set below that shear line, but below those peaks. And the only way to get below those peaks, of course, was with this slightly curved flag. So that's what I did. All right, we do have a fault set. You saw that. So now we got to find out it is probably a T-pin or in the case of a commercial lock, it's probably a spool. So I'm back with a flat flag and Pin two is totally bound up, so I'm going to try to. He's probably the first of the spools, so I'm actually on my thumb. It'd be hard for you to see, but I'm releasing a little bit of tension. You can see the counter rotation there. Come on, and there we go. That's the only spool in there. All right, this is kind of interesting. Let's go ahead and get that tensioner out of there. Let's go ahead and try to gut it. Um, may not be very neat, so if you don't care about gutting, now's the time to drop out. And if you are, and there's a chance that Bill will ram a screwdriver through his hand. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, this is for you. Let me grab my probe. All right, there is a clip, and it looks like that's all that holds this together. Usually these are totally all the way around you. There's no way to push them off. But now I can push that off of there. And I do have replacements, but they're for ABUS, but I think they're pretty much standard. So what all I'm going to do, turn them like this. Well, let's turn them like that so you can see. I'm going to shove that C-clip over there. And then I'm going to hold this side with a screwdriver. And then shove him down. And it worked. Nobody got hurt. Dang it. I know you guys had your fingers crossed. And we launched that clip. What a, that's replaceable. I can even reuse that thing. All right. Um, probably pull him out. Maybe we better get a bucket over here to hold all these pieces. All right. Before we start losing stuff. There's got to be more in there because this doesn't. All right. The actuator. Got to be more than that, right? Okay, I can see, not quite as easy as I thought. There's another C-clip on the back of the lock. And then I'll have to, I'll have to start him moving out, move, take this actuator out, and then fit a follower in there. It's a little more complex than I thought, but I've already committed, right? So you have a second chance at injury here. I'm not going to do this on the nice wood tray. I should know better than to start stuff like this. Okay, the clip there started to come off. Let's see if I can snag him with a probe. And there we go, another part. Oh, this is getting better. Okay, now let's take the key. Turn it, slide it out a little bit, and take our actuator out. Now we're gonna take a follower. Turn them like that so we don't lose any pins. Slide this guy in there like this. And find out where those pins are. They're on this side. All right, cool. And there we go. Hey, how easy was that? There's all seven of them. We're going to use all the slots today, fellas. Three. Four. We move this down here now you feel you can see it. Five. Come on. All standards. 
no magic on the core and all standard pins not even any serrations all right let's grab this guy we know there's a spool in position two but i'm just curious if there's any any other kind of alien tech oh, in here all the way around bill all right we have just a standard in position one Okay, thank goodness I wasn't wrong. Otherwise, I have to end this video now. Number two. Number three is a standard. Four, standard. Five, standard. How unexciting is this, man? These won't be standards when I put them back. I can promise you that. Standard. And the last one. He's stuck in there. Another standard stock standards with one spool. Rav, you guys are letting me down here. And I'm sure there's nothing unusual about that core. Anyway, the Rav by Barish, they called this the RB500. Nothing to it, but I got to tell you, when I put this back together, you guys, these are standard diameter pins, so there's going to be some serrateds in there. And I might even thread this core just for the heck of it before I send it back out to you guys. Anyway, guys, thanks for your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.